up, Sea Bastards? Hopefully we get you hyped for this end of 2020 and 2021 season. We're going perch fishing on Lake Simcoe. Hopefully we get some, some big jumbos and share your experience with us. Loaded, I got the underwater drone, the underwater camera, everything, let's go. All right, so guys, we're out here, and what you want to look for when you're looking for perch, especially when there's no snow on the ice at any time of the season, those fish, they do like sunlight to a certain extent. I, that's my experience, okay? D take that for it with a grain of salt. But when I'm out here and I'm looking, and if you're looking here, it's all black ice. You know, of course black ice, but it's all black ice letting a lot of sunlight through, which is good. The bugs are flourishing. The perch are going to come here and feed. But with my personal experience, and it even happens in boats, uh, when there's still ice on the lake, but we get it out here on boats, the perch will follow the ice patches because it doesn't let as much ice in. It feels like they like to be under those white patches of ice where it doesn't let as much uh, light penetration come through. So that's why if you look there, I set up on that hut. I'm thinking those, you know, you're all around us is black ice, but here. And I feel like those perch are gonna be a bit more, kind of like a bass under a dock in the summer, you know? Sun is great, but sometimes, you know, they don't have eyelids like us to protect their eyes or sunshades like I do, the douchebag sunshades. So, when it's a full sunny day, I like darker areas underwater for them to be under. They seem to be more concentrated there. Little tip of the day for you guys. We're just getting set up here. See if we can get some perch coming up. It is chilly out. Not sure if I want to put the hut up yet. Oh, I do have a perch down there right away. So problems, I got to be quiet. So they're here. Perfect. Perfect, I got a super aggressive coming up. You know what, that means it's four fish I just marked. We're gonna get ourselves comfortable. We're gonna perch fish up here. In the hut, because although it's super nice out, it is chilly. It's about minus 10, but I'm too excited. I wanna see if I can catch them on the BV. We're 19 feet of water. Yeah, one up here. Boy, are they aggressive. Guys, I got about five fish down here. I made it super long. There we go. All right. That don't feel too, too big. Actually, it's a good perch. Perfect eater size. Perfect either side is gonna go right back down. You can see. Let's see if we can catch another one. Beavies. Beavies, such a key bait. I'm, I'm marking some more. Got a big flock coming up to me. Oh, that's a good perch. Yes. That's what we want right here. That's what we came here for. Is for them to make your rod fall down. <laughs> hey guys. Big perch on the BV. Look at the size of this thing. I mean. We're gonna measure it quickly. Regardless, that's a big perch I should go back in. I mean, 14 and a half, piggy, and he destroyed the BZ. In a second, I'm gonna explain to you why they're here, but when you can grab a perch and do this with it, <laughs> you know it's a big one. Thinking about about 14 is big. There's another perch down there. 
as you can see on the graph. Look, there's another, another perch waiting it, but we're gonna release this one. Little guy, I just lost a big, big guy. All right, when I say little guy, I mean it. So, you know, it's so nice out, but it's pretty cold. Little guy goes back in. It's so nice outside. It's pretty cold, so we've set up the hut, but drilled a bunch of holes, as you can see behind us. All around us, we drilled, I went and drilled a bunch of holes. Hopefully, if I'm moving, we can get into them. Good bite, good bite. Little fish. That was aggressive. I just put scent. Those DV hooks always get some if they nip. With this underwater footage video, as you can see, the perch are afraid of the noise above. If I can give you the best tip fishing for perch is to be quiet when it's calm and it's not very pressured, you'll get a lot of perch to stick around being quiet, not making too much noise because we're fairly shallow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and share it. I will see you guys next time for part two. Stay tuned.